Hello, and welcome to my first stream of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. If you're here from YouTube, you might have noticed that there was a Part 0 video before this. That's because I did the setup for this in a different video, because I thought it would be made way more involved than it was. It only took about 10 minutes. But uh, I have not played or watched this. As with most of our streams, I have remained blind, so I have not seen pretty much any of these fusions in this game. Uh, There's another one that I'm late to the party. This was popular like two years ago, maybe. But uh, it's Kanto. It's more or less Fire Red Leaf Green, but with fusing. As I'm sure you, everyone knows, everyone knows this game. Everyone's familiar with this. What's wrong, Charizard? Oh, that's the... Okay, that's the sprite. And the title screen is Fusions. Uh, so I have this randomized. Because, well, I want to see as many Pokemon and Fusions as possible. Uh, it's on easy mode just because that's the mode that has the modern EXP share. Which will let me, you know, train a large number of Pokemon and not have to limit my party. It's a PS5. Take that, Nintendo. Uh, where's my menu button? It's not start, so I have a little bit of getting used to the controls. I'm, I'm black-haired Leaf. That's that's all my my sprite is. Uh, the starters are randomized, so I don't know what my starters are gonna be. Do I start with a potion? I do. Oh. Okay. I can be leaf red. Interesting. Pajamas. No, I'll, I'll stick. I'll stick as the default for now. Maybe I want to change my hat though. You know what? Yeah. Oh, it even changes the overworld sprite. That's neat. I, I didn't know that like outfits were in this game. Yes, hello. Letter from the Pokemon League. We are pleased to announce that your Pokemon League application has been accepted. You're hereby recognized as an official Pokemon trainer. Is this a thing? Do you need to, like, register with a league to do this? I thought you just needed to be 10. No, I'm not going to wear the pajamas, Jack. Maybe next stream. They accepted your application? That's amazing! As if that doesn't happen to everybody who applies. How do you fail? The, how do they reject you? Oh. Oh, we got a rival. Okay, well... As I usually do in Pokemon games for lack of anything else. Jack, you're here in spirit. You're kind of a dick, though. Sure that you and Jack will have a ton of fun on your Pokemon journey together. Maybe he's not a dick. Maybe Gary's nice in this one. It's awesome that you're finally becoming a trainer, sis. Red. What's that box? What do you got? It's the box your running shoes came in. Okay, I, I started the game wearing running shoes. As is usually the case with Pokemon fan games. I'm here, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're more than just here in spirit, Jack. Guess who just, just got accepted as an official Pokemon trainer? That's right, me! Ass catch him! I'm surprised they let you in. I thought they had higher standards. I wonder... I assume all this is original. I have not... I've not played Fire Red Leaf Green. I barely remember it, because I barely play them. I barely ever go back to them. Home. Well, who's home? I have not played a Let's Go Pikachu Eevee, which was the most recent official outing to Kanto. 
So I don't know if maybe this music is from that. Jack told me not to give you this map, so here you go! Yeah, fuck you, Gary. Have you talked to my son today? He's becoming a Pokemon trainer. And he's very excited. She looks a lot younger than the Daisy Oak did. Now, is this gonna be the thing where I have to, uh, where I have to start by walking into the grass? Oh, that's a transition. That's a complete lack of a transition. Yeah, okay, we, we gotta do this. It's just like, uh, it's just like Gen 1. I don't know what this was made in. It was like Game Maker or something. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. Here, come with me. Yeah, this is even the same dialogue from Gen 1. RPG Maker Engine could be. Now again, these are randomized. I have no idea what they are. So let's find out what our starter options are. We got Chimchar. Gen 4 starter. Uh, Buneary. Hmm, eh, probably not. I don't think I want a better. Carvana. Ooh, that's tempting. I could use the shark. Oh, do I go monkey or shark? You know what? I don't want a fire fighting. I want my shark. This is after the physical special split, obviously, because this is a fan game, so Carvana will be, like, actually usable. Deep D. Gramps got me one of these DM DNA splicers. I guess I'll take both of the other ones and try it out. What a dick. Okay, Chimchar and Baniri. I'll bet if it was Chimchar and uh, and Lopunny, she'd be really hot. Let's see how much, let's see how much stronger a Pokemon gets when it's fused with another one. I'm not being uh, drowned out by the game, am I? I set it to a 50% volume. And I hope it stayed that way. It's Bunchar. Oh, that's... Okay, so I guess... Yeah, they wouldn't have back sprites for every Pokemon and every fusion, would they? I guess we just have front sprites, front sprites for both. Can I swap moves? No. Okay. Well, not not here anyway. Maybe I need to use the, the menu. Uh, so this game is kind of in a state right now. Their uh, their servers recently went offline. Normally, this game connects to the internet and updates automatically, but. Uh, until they figure out what's going on or get a new server or something, there is a uh, offline version, which is what I'm playing. I need you to pick up a parcel of Viridian City Pokemon. Okay, he tells you in this one. Uh, turn it down. No, I set it to 50. The game is a little loud. Is that good? I thought I had it about right when I had it at 50. Anyone else here have an opinion on the game volume? Alright. Randomized. Ugh, I can't catch anything though, because I don't have Pokeballs yet. All right, Iggly Buff. So this kind of originated with a. Uh, that's right, Fairy type exists now. This originated with a website that would like automatically or like algorithmically fuse two Pokemon sprites together. Which this is based off of. It does use those for any Pokemon that does not have a custom community-made sprite. 
However, by this point in time, there are a ton of custom-made community sprites, so... In that sense, it's, uh... Maybe for the best that I waited to start this. I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop. It, it's, it's just Gen 1. Sorry if you were on YouTube and the game is set to Fire Red Leaf Green. They didn't have Infinite Fusion. The Pokemon doesn't include fan games. Twitch usually doesn't. They had this one. Can I just run? I don't want to fight Igly Buffs. No, not a trainer. I'm a new trainer too. Oh. Did they remove? Did they do they not have the line of sight feature? Is this like Scarlet Violet? You got to uh you got to like talk to someone to initiate a battle. Tybat. So this is Tyrogue and Zubat, I think. Pretty sure it's Zubat. Doesn't look like Noibat. So this is going to be fighting and flying, maybe? I don't fully know how types are determined when Pokémon are fused. I should have just used Rage from the get-go. Uh, if there was a setting to have infinite fusion devices, I would have set that, but there wasn't. Fortunately, they are sold at Pokemon Marts, so hopefully I don't have a problem acquiring them. This is an annoying bunch of Pokemon to uh, and be encountering immediately. Just fairy and fighting types. I wonder if there's a speed up option. Golbat? Oh, uh oh. No. Well, maybe it's good EXP. I don't know if I could run from it. It is pretty thoroughly randomized, so we could run into, obviously, evolved wild Pokemon. I think we can run into legendaries. I think I included those in the pool. I wanted to be able to run into basically anything so that we have the option to combine basically anything. Ugh. Sorry, it's a fan game. Still looks better than Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Who are you, mysterious stranger? I'm the help man. Advanced options. Which of these? Ah. So I can view my settings and I can reshuffle? Ah. I've never seen this in a randomizer. I could, like, change the randomization if I wanted to. Just, like, get a new batch. Even change the randomization settings on the fly. Cool. I didn't randomize items because I don't know where items are and everything. The new stat train. Uh, I assume that's the default. I don't know what I just did. I, I don't think I should talk to the help man. I already had my, my settings set up. It is RPG Maker, okay. That is pretty jarring, the way the head just, like, stays on the outside of the door. We're giving out free DNA splicers with every parcel delivery. Cool. Wait, can't, wait, no, hold on, I need balls, though. 
Oh, you should get two. I, I want to be like Gary. I want to I wanna have two starters. That would have been a cool thing for this game. You just get to pick two of them, so you can fuse immediately if you want to. Maybe he's going to give me another one. What if they tacked on, like, the yellow event to it? Professor Oak chases me out into the grass, and we have a random encounter that he catches. Alright, I got your parcel. Your Pokemon seems to like you a lot. They also gave you DNA, DNA splicers, but you'll need a second Pokemon before you can use it. You can always unfuse your Pokemon if you don't like the result, of course. I forgot to give you your Pokedex. For something like this, you would pretty much have to be able to, like, fully change your Pokemon's moves and everything at any given time. Because otherwise, like, fusing and un unfusing, you'd never be able to get, like, what you wanted. Hmm. More free balls. Oh, there's a day-night cycle. I get... What time is it? 9.22 p.m. I wonder how fast time passes. 9.30. Okay, pretty fast. I I'm still struggling with the buttons a little bit, because it's not... It's not a Game Boy layout. It's not even a modern Pokemon layout. It's just... It's designed for an Xbox controller. Which is weird for a Pokemon game. There are five, and you can choose two. Huh? I didn't get any more, though. Also, where's Hone Edge? Huh? Well, Bite's the only thing I have that'll hit it, but I'm worried that'll kill it. I do kind of want this. Yeah, they killed it. I wonder... Maybe that was a sprite load error? I kind of want a fish sword. What is it healing from? Okay, it only healed once. I guess, I guess it, was a, uh, it was a berry. Okay, here's my plan. I don't want this cotton. But uh, I'm gonna catch it so that I can then use it to catch other things. Because my deep D is too strong now. Sprites. There's multiple sprites for every... Interesting. And I guess I can pick which one I see. Well, I guess I want the... I guess I want the official one. I wonder if that affects the, uh, the fusions. Like the automatically generated fusions. Those have to use the, the official sprites, right? Oh, I bet we encountered Hone Edge because it's night, is what happened. Uh, the back button is menu. It, it's a pretty strange setting. I don't think I've seen a game do that before. Like the circle button on PlayStation. Let's find a hone edge. And it vi no, it appeared this time. I guess it was just a glitch. Uh, Ghost Steel. I guess either one would be... I think they're both not very effective. Leech Life has gotten buffed to like 80 power now. Absorb. Still 20. Who cares? No one likes Absorb. Probably because there are already stronger versions is why Absorb got ignored. 
Even then, those are kind of weak, though. Like the strongest one, Giga Drain. Well, I think that was buffed. It was originally 60, heck, maybe it's 75 now in modern games. Come on. Yeah, Sword Mine. There's a sheathed version. Interesting. And they're all... Most of them are made by the same person. That one's huge. Smogon? The website? Smogon's not a person. I, the default. I don't know. I'm surprised it doesn't just use the official ones. I'm surprised it do not only does it not use them, it doesn't include them as options. I'd kind of just rather have the official ones. Not to take away from all this, like, obviously a lot of fan work has gone into this and all of these. Alright, let's try... let's try fusing our fish and our sword. Oh, I can... There's multiple fusions for each. Uh, do I want Water Ghost or do I want Steel Dark? That's a pretty cool sounding type. And this one looks more Carvana-like. I, I want Carv Carvana... Carvana to be dominant. Swordfish. That's true. It is now... It is literally a swordfish. Pretty sure that's not a custom sprite. That looks like an auto-generated one, and it's goofy as shit. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's... It's got, like, a weird little arm. Hanvana attacks ships in swarms, making them sink. It attaches itself to people and drinks their life, fo life force. I wonder if these are gen... You know, Pokemon number 205,247. Have fun filling out the Pokedex, asshole. I wonder if these are are generated. For, like the first half is the is the Carvana half, and the second half is the uh, Honage half, and it just smushes them together. Uh, still deep D. Ab I can choose which ability it has. Uh, and sure attacks land. What did I pick? Steel Dark. That doesn't have any, like, immunities, so I, I, I'm good without that. Yeah, I don't want Calm. Uh, tackle is 40. Okay, because it was 50 in Gen 2. Sorry, Gen 5, and then it went down again. Alright, Swords Dance is a nice thing to have. Let's get some more Splicers. Let's get some more Balls if we can afford them. Uh, DNA Splicers are slightly more expensive than Pokeballs. We'll get five for now. Sure, another eight Pokeballs. Well, I should have bought ten Pokeballs, and I'd get a Premier Ball. Probably. Do I have anything worth selling? Probably not. No. What are you? Uh, gems. And he okay, Heal Balls. Just assorted specialty items on the left, I guess. Hello. There's a gift? Kadabra? Huh? Uh... I was gonna call it Magic Man, but it's a lady. Yeah, whatever. 
Why, why did I have a gift cadabra? Did, did you just... Maybe that is your second starter in a way. But if it was a starter, it wouldn't be cadabra. It would be like a first stage Pokemon, because that's what I set it to. Uh... I wonder if there's a... Uh, I wonder if there's a cadabra fish. Synchronize. Mudsport. Harden? Oh, back. What kind of moveset is this for Kadabra? What? Bizarre. I mean, you say it's cheap. He doesn't have any psychic moves. I wonder if there's anything I can get in the trainer school. Or if it's purely, uh... They'll evolve without having to trade if you can get them up to level 40. Okay, that's good. There's a wiki for this game. How come you guys are standing beside your behind your desks? This is a weird school. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, it just opened an internet tab is what it did. Okay, well that's apt, I suppose, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that now. You can tell it's an art it's it is, it's a fan game. As cool as the concept is and as cool as all the sprites are, there's a lot of lack of polish. What is this? How come this grass just suddenly changes shades? A different map. Alright. Huh? Wait, what? Why did I just slide down? Can I repeat that? Yeah. Why is that happening? Oh. Okay, because there's a... Uh, there's like a transition movement when you go between maps. Well, let's try out our, uh... Let's try out our Swordmon. Aw. Oh. Though they don't have battle consent laws. I cut these two Pokémon and fused them together using DNA splicers. Uh, we will not encounter sp uh, fused Pokémon. Oh, that's cursed. Smear free. And its wings are stained glass, because it's, it's, like, painted. Uh, it's probably normal bug, I'm gonna guess. Why do I still have Cottony in front? Uh-oh. Oh, you're going down, Cottony. Sorry. It's also obviously flying, though, so maybe it's... Maybe it's normal flying. Oh, I just noticed. So when you combine Pokémon, they go down to the level of the lower of the two. saying we will not encounter fused Pokemon in the wild. That was an option. You could do that if you wanted to. Fury Cutter. That was better than something I got, I'm sure. Lear. I wonder if they just get both Pokemon's move pools. Like, whatever level either of the Pokémon would learn a move, this Pokémon learns that as well. Maybe if we can ch if we can change the settings midway, maybe we'll turn on wild-fused Pokémon for a future stream. Because that would let us see a lot more fusions. You know, of, of the 500,000, or however many there are. 
But for now, I want to I want to like see and catch regular Pokemon, so that I can fuse them and I can see what the fusions look like. Cotney, you don't even need to be here. Let's see what's in the grass on this route. Pichu. He's a happy little dude. Uh, bite will probably kill. Tackle might kill it. Probably not. Okay, tackle's good. Oh, I wonder if this is this is probably still a happiness evolution. Unless they change those, that'd be real nice if they did. Because those take forever. But we could get a Pikachu, which I'm sure everyone would like to know whatever they fuse with. What do you mean, unknown artist? Like, someone just submitted these and you forgot? Rock, rock and Pichu. You know what? That's stupid. I like it. Spin to Pichu? There's so many Pichus! Why can I have two Pichus? Oh, now I gotta choose. Do I want the, the guitar one or the, the two? I kind of love that I just... I, ha I get two. Why? No reason. It's the Pichu Brothers. What happens when it becomes Pikachu? Do I get two Pikachu? Jack wanted to get Sorry, Jack. Well, now it's named P2, so I kind of have to keep it. It would be nice if we get a P if, if we get a Pikachu, because then we can. Uh, that'd be something to. That's got to have a lot of custom sprites. Pikachu's got to have a sprite for everything it can mix with. P2, I don't know about. There is also an autosave function, but I'm used to compulsively saving in Pokemon anyway, so who cares? Jack and Tyler for the Pichu duo. That wouldn't fit. I could name it, I could call it Durden. Youngster Mustafa. Uh, okay. Aaron and Riolu. That's going to be steel fighting, I'm guessing. That's not great for me. Uh, I don't have anything good against that. I have no Pokemon that can effectively damage this thing. Do we have... We must have a steel fighting by now. Yeah, d obviously, it's Lucario. Duh. This is just early Lucario. A uh, bug is going to be not very effective. Bite will be not very effective. Do I want to... I'll just get the stab. Oh. I guess it's still a baby Pokemon, so it's not that much of a threat. In terms of stats. Cotney finally gets some experience. Nindle. Okay. Nin... Not Ninjas. Ninkata. That's the, that's the first one. Ninkata and Weedle. Uh, probably Bug Poison? Could be Bug Ground, I guess. E even the music doesn't look right. I'm sorry to make fun of the things in this game. It's just disappointing that such a cool idea would be so unpolished. I want it to look and sound good. This seems like a project that deserves to look and sound good. It really is just like an official Pokemon game.
harvest these uh, Christmas trees here. Also, dude, yeah, the ground. Come on, come on. You can't even have, like, grass tiles that, that loop correctly. Oh, hello. Your, your text box preempted you a little bit. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. I knew this was coming, but I, I, I didn't say it anyway. Shedin? That's not a normal Shedinja. What the hell is that? Did you fuse it with something and still call it Shedinja? Well... Does this... Is it, is it just a weird fan sprite for a regular Shedinja? Does Shedinja get to fuse with anything and still have 1 HP and Wonder Guard? I don't need focus energy. Metal sound. No, I don't want metal sound. That lowers special defense on a Pokemon without special needs. Bunchar. Oh, right, that's his... Uh, we saw this already. Why was that sprite so... I don't know! I don't know why that sprite was so cool. We, we got one winged Shedinja. One char. Me and the boys, we like to go to the pub and bring our bun char. Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Maybe I'll use more DNA splicers. Just in case you forgot that those make Pokemon stronger. Here you go. All right, thanks. Yep, smell you, weirdo. I wish it was just like the buttons on, like the, the Gen 4 games already had four buttons and one of them was used for menu. I wish it was just that, instead of whatever weird button scheme they have going on for this. To fully elaborate, the bottom button, I'm gonna use PlayStation uh, terminology. X button is A, it's confirm, it's attack, etc. The square button is run, and the circle button is both back and menu access. I don't know what the top button does, if anything, yet. Gary is slightly nicer. It's true, he's gotten, like, progressively nicer over the course of just the series. Yeah, I, I don't think he's... You no, know, you know what? Oh. I guess there are wild fused Pokemon. Okay. You want to bet this thing doesn't know any electric moves? Uh, you don't even... Gary's not even your rival in Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. You're not red, you're, you're some different dude. With a different rival, who is obviously much nicer. And then red and blue slash Gary. Appear as like the, the, the they're the previous dudes. They're, they're your helpers, your, your mentors. So the last game with, uh, with like Gary Gary, like blue was uh, fire red leaf green. As a rival, I mean. He's made other appearances in games, non-rival appearances since then. Catch it and unfuse it. I guess I could do that. I get two Pokemon for the price of one. Cottonweed Flash Pokemon. They float on the winds to move around. If they encounter a thunderstorm, their bodies glow with ele electricity. Nah, we don't need to nickname ship it. Do I need to use a pair of fusion things to unfuse something? Or is that free? 
summer. Uh, how unfuse. There's a, there's a black one too. I think maybe I do. Use this to return to the last Pokemon you visited if you get stuck somewhere. Oh, okay. There's a... We're not guaranteed to not get stuck anywhere in this game. That That's the workaround. Okay, hold on. Let, let me check this. I have six DNA splicers. If I use one to unfuse this, does it use up one? Yes, it does. Okay, so I need to use one every time I fuse something and every time I unfuse something. Uh... Pop it, but Cotton would like make like a weird grass combination. Shinx and Pichu. Shinx and Kadabra. I kind of do want to be like conservative with my splicers though. At least until I have a lot of money. Like I'll save them for things that I really want to uh... I really want to fuse because I think they'd be cool. Oh, Geodude. He could be cool fused with something. I'm gonna guess that, like, Gen 1 Pokemon, if, if they're probably inclined to go in order, so Gen Pokemon, Gen 1 Pokemon, on average, probably have the most fusions. Yeah, Rock Fist. What would Geodude Cadaver look like? Synthesis. All right, that's cool. It'd be a stupid Pokemon, because Geodude is physical and Kadabra is, uh... Well, Geodude's not, also not an attacker, though. He's defensive. Yeah, just official. Oh, good. I can choose to add to my party from, uh... From here. Uh... Hop wait, Hoppip is genderless? Is always I thought it I thought it wasn't like genderless in the original. Well, in any case, it kind of sucks. So let, let's let, let's get rid of Hoppip. We're not gonna fuse it with anything. As you probably noticed from the types of Pokemon we're encountering, the randomization is by like general level or stat pool. So here in the early game, we're going to be encountering, you know, mostly first forms and things like that. Which also means that Hoppip Shinx must have just awful stats. If, if it's a fused Pokemon and we're encountering it on one of the very first routes. I am... You know what? I am a little tempted to fuse Geodude and Kadabra, though. Because then we'd have, like, a psychic Pokemon that is physically defensive? Like, good special attack, good physical defense? I could always, like, if I want to, if I really want to save a fusion thing. Splicers, I could, uh... I could use one, and if I don't like the result, I could just reset. Alright, Kadabra and Geodude. Let's see this. Oh, Psychic Ground or Rock Psychic. It's got like, so this one is like floating with Psychic Fists. And this one looks like, I kind of want to see this one. I want I want to see Boxer Kadabra. Pichu can evolve through leveling. That's good. I'm glad about that. Oh, he's beautiful. But he also looks automatically generated. I, I still don't think this is a custom one. Geobra. It was rumored that a boy with psychic abilities transformed into Geobra while he was assist assisting research into extrasensory powers because they... Okay, they couldn't fit all of that. Ah, he's Rockhead, I guess. Uh, special defense. I don't want either of these. I want good defense and special attack. That's why I fused these. 
the first one totally was. Do you think I should reset? Should I go back? Defense curl. Ugh, Cadaver doesn't have any moves. Is there a way to... Oh, I can title screen. Nope, don't save. Okay, good. I was worried I'd have to, like, shut the whole game down again. Let's see what the other one is. I'm not confident it's custom, though, because it still had the same general outline as Geodude. It just has, like, psychic fists added. Okay, no, that, that's that's definitely custom. Sprite by RetroGamer9934. That looks like a fusion between the two. <laughs> Catadude. Climbs mountain paths using only the power of its arms. It's rumored that it has psychic abilities. Yeah. So it does just smash them together, but Cadabra's is too long to effectively smash together with other entries. I guess minus defense. Hold on, I gotta see that sprite. Oh, it's a good sprite. It's just like Kadabra with his feet cut off. I, 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 he needs psychic moves, though. Is there like a... Uh, I wonder if there's like a, a move relearner that's conveniently accessible. Have you seen the Pokemon Spiro? I'll trade you my Bell Sprout. Uh, well, Spiro could be anywhere. I might not encounter Spiro until Victory Road. Sorry. Can be found by on Route 22 in the daytime. Is that updated for the randomizer? Is it telling me where I can get Spiro? Why do you get rid of... Why would I want Mudsport? It doesn't do anything. It weakens electric moves on a Pokemon that is already immune to electric moves. Okay, I can change nicknames at any time. Organize and fuse? I probably still have to use splicers if I fuse something in the PC, because otherwise... Uh-oh. How many boxes are there? There's a lot. Too many. I don't want to be in box 33, though. Still struggling with the menu controls. Alright, go back to box 1. Truly, it, was, it honestly was my fault for thinking there wouldn't be a million boxes in a fan game, because of course it's a fan game, of course they're going to have a million boxes. Alright, daytime. We should probably leave this place, we, sh we should move on. I managed to get Grandpa to go home, he's doing much better now. I wonder if this version includes the, the Grandpa's Drunk storyline. Which was censored in the in the original red and blue. I forget what they changed it to. Like he's just he's just an angry old man and he doesn't want to let anyone through. Trash! What do I want to fuse with literal garbage? Will this kill it? Oh, not very effective.
They, they like their, like, their happy little cute sprites. There's some that are extra trash. You know what? We really want to emphasize how trash this Pokemon is. Oh, I meant to nickname it. Wait, how come I didn't get the option to... Hold on. Okay, no, it, it didn't go to my PC. See, because Danny, Danny is gender neutral. Even though it's the trash man. Give me something else. Is there anything that would be interesting to fuse with that? <laughs> I could I could have trash Pichu. I wonder how fusing affects evolution. Like, if Pichu fuses and then hits its evolution level, will the fusion evolve into, like, Pikachu Trubbish? I'm guessing they probably have to be unfused to evolve, but what do I know? I like P2, though. Fine. Right, what else is here on this route? We have P2, we have Trubbish, and we have Clefsi. I'm guessing it's Cleffa Horsey, not Clefairy Horsey, because Cleffa's stats would be lower. What is Bug Knot? Is Bug Knot very effective against Fairy? I'm sorry, I still struggle a little bit with the Fairy type. Does that count as not using Fury Cutter for a turn? No, it doesn't. Damn it. Alright, I need to I need to get rid of Deep D. Durden, you're up. He'll be better at catching. I do kind of want to catch fused Pokemon because that's like two for the price of one Pokeball. Ratatap. I'm only getting Lady Mons. Yes, static. Good. All oh, rat garbage. That's got to be custom. They've, they've got to have a, like a trash rat. Get two Ratatap and fuse them. Can I fuse two of the same Pokemon? Can I do that? Why is this one so sexy? Berry rat. This one's based on what is this one based off? It's like the Gen 3 sprite? Maybe it's the Gen 2 1 sprite. This one's just weird looking. Sorry, artist. Uh, Trash Mouse. Shinx is a meme for us, so I gotta keep Shinx. We, we gotta fuse something with Shinx eventually. Alright. Let's, let's check out the Trash Rat. Poison, normal, normal, poison. <sighs> Left one looks more like it, uh, like more likely to be custom, because this one still has the general trubbish outline. I wonder if after you fuse them, after you've gotten their Pokedex entries, you can see them. Oh, yep. That's custom, all right. Trub Tata. 
trash rat. It's horrifying. Mouse bag Pokemon. A Trubtat is cautious in the extreme. The combination of garbage... Yep. Just... The Pokemon, the, the dex entries aren't even worth, like, reading. Uh, Stench may cause the target to flinch. Sure. And they're both, okay, neutral nature or... Nah, I'll go neutral. Gray is autogen. Green is custom. You think so? Uh, do I want to recycle it? No difference between pound and tackle, so. Mmm, look at that, mate. Look at that icon. It does. It just, like, smushes the two icons together. I, okay. I can see it. I can see, like, the cutoff with Kadabra, and then the bottom half is Geodude. I don't know why I didn't notice that before now. Sorry if progress is a little bit slow. I'm having fun catching Pokemon, infusing stuff, okay? Do I have more money? Can I buy more stuff? Not really. I'm going to reach a point where I run out of, like, balls and things. I, you know what? I am going to progress, because while it would be cool to get that, uh, that... Clef C. Okay, let me check what's in this route at night real quick. But, uh... We're now low enough on balls and splicers that I kind of want to be... picky about what I get. Fuse to Pichu. Oh, what a Fletchlet. Yeah, not really. Alright. Interesting effect. Bug type Pokemon are my passion. Favorite bug type move is Fury Cutter. Okay, move tutor. I guess they're just uh, probably just scattered about the game. Oh, that's a Pokemon. It's not a Paris though. It's a Shelter. I don't care about shelter. I guess I could evolve it. I, I could get, like, a cloister, and then I'm sure there's a bunch of, like, vagina fusions or something. Okay, yeah, they're all gonna be shelters. What is a poison mushroom? Can be sold for a small. Why? Who wants it? That looks conspicuous. That spider web. Oh, here's Noibat. Noiper. Noibat and Whooper. Ah. Uh, I'll catch this one. Oh no! Doesn't affect. So what? Okay. So it's ground type. That's what it got from Wooper. What does this kid Catadude have again? It has tackle. That'll work. That thing looks like it lives a uh, a difficult existence. Without arms. I bet it's very env envious of Catadude's big, burly, useful arms. Not only does it have arms, it's also, like, telekinetic. Some Pokémon have all the luck. <laughs> to get- okay. That's- yeah, that's why they, they want the mushrooms. Poison mushrooms. No 
Wave Pokemon. Water Wave Pokemon. Inspected the web. A Pokemon jumped out. That's what I thought it would be. But it's not a spider. Ooh! It's a Dano. Dino. Because because they're named after the German numbers. It's, it's Eins, Zwei. Dry? Is that the third one? This is a pseudo-legendary, so I want this. Shock it a few times. I have never loved the way that this family is designed. I don't love their look, but I love their typing. Dragon Dark is cool. Why is the why is the, why is the icon cut off? But why is Paralyze like only showing the top bit? I gotta find some pseudo legendaries to fuse. I gotta have something to fuse this with. There's Shinx and Dino, but that seems like uh... I don't know if that's a combination that's gonna be worth anything. Any cool looking sprites for uh, Ringo? This game has a karma system. I'm sorry, what? Alright, Shinx, you're at it. Well, I don't really care about Noiper. Gotta do it. He's got the hair. I just found a dinosaur, dinosaur in a spider web. I'm wondering if this is like headbutt trees and it just works eventually. No, it just seems to be one and done. Also, the this Viridian Forest theme is so much more like optimistic than the original one. Do I want to go hunting for poison mushrooms? I do need money. Uh, Catadude. Why do you fight this trainer? This is a dead end. Let's battle! Metapie. Metapie. Okay. We haven't seen a fusion of the same two Pokemon yet. I don't know if that's a thing that can happen. I am curious to find out. Screw it. Yeah, come at me, bro. This looks like a Pokemon that would say, come at me, bro. Too slow. All right. You know what, Danny? You're gonna get some EXP. It's so ugly. Oh, I hate looking at it. Two Ratata and two Eevee. What if you could fuse fusions? Millions of dex entries. Just you wait until my Pokemon evolves into Metafree. Uh. Y'all got any psychic moves? This place is full of mushrooms. I see an egg up there, too. How do I get that? That could hatch into anything. That could hatch into a Mewtwo. Confirmed to produce unique sprites. I see. Okay, so 
Jack has confirmed you can combine two of the same Pokemon. Uh, Dano's thing, Dino's thing is that uh, when it evolves, it continues getting heads from one to two to three. What if I fuse it with itself? Will two Dinos have two heads? And then two uh, Zwilus have four heads? And then six heads? Uh, damn, am I gonna make a, a, a frickin' Hydra? Sylveon, Sylveon. Ah. Uh, I would do it, but again, I'm short on money and short on balls. So unless something, like, really cool comes up that I want to fuse with itself. Besides, I like my trash rat. I don't, I don't want to defuse it to see what two ratatas make. the Pokemon company is about fan games. I don't really hear about them shutting down a lot of stuff. Except that one, like, weird... There was a story about a, uh, not a fan game, but an officially made licensed game that they, uh... Ah, oh, what's the word? They contracted. Commissioned for the second Pokemon movie, I think it was. I'm the Academy. And, uh, this was, this was early PC stuff, so it was not at all impressive if we were to look at it now. But uh, at the time, they were apparently worried enough about it that they thought it would make the actual Pokemon games look bad. So, uh, it was shit-canned. There's, I think there's a Digino Gaming video about it. They, uh, they managed to recover the actual game so that it's playable. Oh, Diglett. Is Diglett gonna become... Diglett could become something funny if it fuses. I'll still wait, though. Uh, Jack has sent me the fused Rattata sprite on Discord. And it is a, uh... It's a Nutcracker Sweet Style Rat King. It's, it's a giant Rattata with a crown, surrounded by smaller Rattatas. Who obey the biggest one because it makes all the rules. Bugcatcher Jim. Bonot. Bonot. Uh, Rock Psychic. Have any moves? Does why? Well, but the, the Bonsley would have moves. Rock Psychic. Oh, all right, I'll send in my sword. I don't really have reason not to use it for trainer battles. just in case the next thing is weak to bug. Dit bass. Okay, it's a ditto fee bass. I'm assuming it can transform, in which case it will become... What am I? Water ground? Yeah, but transformed. No, I must be... Yeah, I'm, I think this is the Dark Steel one, is what I am. I was counting on that rough skin. I wonder if there's much point to combining Ditto with any... I, I guess by combining it, you can get, like other Pokemon that can learn Transform, whatever that's worth. Ringo. 
Cack Fairy. That's not a flattering name. Look, it's just like, it's like a fat Kakuna with Clefairy ears. Uh, Bug Fairy, I'm guessing? In which case, this is a bad Pokemon to use against it. Uh, Bug Fairy, a uh, poison. I guess I could fuse Shinx and Pichu. Like, just sm smush together two shitty Pokemon. I don't have a poison move. Damn it. Do your best, Danny. Poison gas is so inaccurate. Thankfully, it worked this time. Maybe it's something to do with, like, this offline version. Is why we're seeing so many, like, visual weird weirdities, oddities. Not all of them. I think stuff like the, the door entering stuff is just RPG Maker stuff, but, uh... Like, these being cut off is probably, I conceivably, a bug of some kind. Uh, Jack, is that actually the Ditto Times 2 sprite? He sent me a sprite on Discord, and it is the, uh, cut Ditto Evolution from the Pokemon Gold Space World demo, is the sprite. So, it, that would make sense if they combine two Dittos to turn it into the, the cut evolution. Ah, we don't need focus energy. Toxic spikes. Mm, it could be something. Uh, get rid of Tail Whip. I wonder if they used, like, all of the, the beta sprites, or at least, like, a bunch of them. Oh, great. Charge. You got any electric moves? You want to have... No, I don't want to have another battle. I, I haven't actually checked if it has electric moves. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. So you can refight any trainer in this game. Snorlax times two is just a really fat Snorlax, apparently. Jack has now fallen down the rabbit hole of uh, looking up Pokemon fused with themselves. Boy, this is a uh, this is a lot more maze-like than the original Vir uh, Forest Viridian Forest. Metapip, Metapod Hopip. have anything for that. Thankfully, it probably doesn't have any attack moves. It's a fusion of a Pokemon that generally only knows Splash and Harden. What a pathetic creature Metapip is. Rollout? Okay. We get a rock move, even though he's not rock-type anymore, but... It combines with Defense Curl. It's meta. A joke, but... As bad as my current options are, yeah. You know what? Let's do it. Chansey Squared is Chansey in a nurse outfit. Which seems like it would just be a custom Chansey spray. Super effective. Okay, it okay, was fire. I knew it was Iggly Buff and Slugma. I, just, I guess I didn't think about what type it was. Do you want to trade? I'll take any bug type Pokemon in exchange for one of my Pokemon. Ooh, that's tempting. Caterbat or Weebat? Eh. No. Well. I, well, I'm committed now. I was hoping that I'd be able to look into my uh, PC. Nice uh, comma ellipses there. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to look into my PC and get something to trade, but it doesn't seem to let me do that. I wonder if these mushrooms were scattered about. 
as a way to, uh, a way to give you money early on. Kind of seems like that first one was just an outlier. All of the others have had uh, poison mushrooms before a Pokemon. We tread. It's a Weedle centric, and it's got a little like bee stinger. All right, you know what? I like Wee tread. Don't poison. Okay, good. Uh, I think if I use rollout, I think I'm committed to all five hits. I can't like throw a ball after the first one. normal type. Scout bug. Uh, I, I won't add it just yet. We're not gonna get a, a ton of really interesting Pokemon this early on because of the, uh, because of the way level randomization works, or stat randomization, rather. So that's the main way to go. What what's back here then? Antidote and another mushroom. I'm not gonna do a super long stream today. I gotta at least get through the pewter gym though. I'm intending for this to be a full playthrough, but uh, you know, I don't know quite how long that will take, especially at this pace. I have one other Pokemon thing that I've been meaning to try. Not a fan game, but like a, a, a gimmick stream. But I don't know if it'll be possible. I'll have to do some testing beforehand. Oh, I need cut for the egg. No, give me a nice egg in these trying times. I think... Bug Pokemon are totally great. Let me show you what they can do. We got a girl bug catcher. That's nice. Aruna. Aaron Kakuna. Gonna guess Steel Bug. I really don't have anything against Steel. Durden. Give him the juice. Oh, that hurt. Durden's going down. Maybe we can paralyze at least. Maybe it'll harden again. You one more time, please. Yes! I lost my train of thought for what I was about to say, but I realized it didn't matter because it wasn't this game I was thinking of. It was, uh... There's a ROM hack I learned about called Regulation Red. A regulation blue or something and it's basically just a tweak of red blue that makes it so that you can like set a bunch of custom options like you you can enforce a nuzlocke run poison mushrooms will work, work in a pinch if you need to heal your pokemon but you better have an antidote ready Oh, so they heal, but also poison. That's an interesting item. Pewter City looking much more city-like. There are two... That's correct. That's correct. For some reason, one of the custom Pichu sprites is just two Pichu. Saw you looking at my Tyrogue here. Trade it for a Mankey. I don't have a Mankey. Do you know where they are? Upstairs is the Pokemon Trade Center. You can get random Pokemon from trainers all around the world. Now, does that mean, like, actually online trading? Trading, or is it you literally just get a random Pokemon? The more wonder trades you're allowed to make... 
you mean fix game? Make sure that you're playing on the most recent version. Okay. Now I'm, I'm I don't want to do this on on screen on stream. We don't need no unintended consequences. Yeah, no, I'm sure it was the Pichu brothers. It's just weird that it's weird that they have so many custom sprites at all. But it's especially weird some of the sprites that they chose to include. I wonder if this is a different encounter pool than the south part of the route, below Viridian. Snubchu! Well, there's a Pikachu. I don't think I need a Snubble, though. I wonder what two Pikachus makes. Is it like a... Maybe it's like a movie star Pikachu. Maybe it's THE Pikachu. I catch a Mime Jr. I kind of want a male. Because a female Mr. Mime is weird. Okay. drawing a blank on the name of the uh, of the Pokemon translator. Like the early one, but uh, he said pretty much immediately, hey, you shouldn't call this Pokemon this. We shouldn't call this Mr. Mime, because what if they introduce gender in the future? And lo and behold... Oh, if I evolve this, I could get Mime Dabra. Wait, no, not potion, Pokeball. Ah, oh, it's paralyzed too. How high a catch rate is Mime Junior? There we go. I wonder if Crit Catch is a feature in this game. So graceful. Such beauty. I'll stick with it. I'll stick with the default. Uh, I do kind of want to level it up. You know what? Are we really going to use it? We joke is that Shinx sucks. We don't need Shinx. There we go. It's a good name. Poor Shinx. Look, I, I want to like him. I li His evolution is cool. It looks cool anyway. But we can't use Shinx after Diamond Pearl. The scars run too deep. Uh, Pokemart. Let me sell some of these mushrooms. Okay, wow, that is, that is really low. They're right, they don't sell for much. Uh, berries sell for next to nothing. I need money, man. I need more splicers and balls. I guess I could be exploring more. Maybe there's like NPCs that'll give me items or something. Hello. I brought back this special flute for my travel. Show me the city's badge, and it's yours. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. In uh, regula- I think it's in Regulation Red. 
uh, TMs can be just like, not TMs, HMs. Maybe I, may, maybe I am thinking of this game. You can just use them without having to teach them to a Pokemon. Brock uses ice type Pokemon. You'll have it to be real tough to gain the advantage. So, uh, gyms are still type-based gyms. However, the types have been randomized. So this will be a gym full of ice trainers. What do I have? I have steel for that. Catadude is now my, my highest level Pokemon. I think... You know what else I think I said? Uh, there's a... I think there was a setting for... I think there was a setting for, like, the Nuzlocke setting, where your, your level is capped at the level of the highest... The, the, the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon. I think I might have enabled that. I don't remember, because I did the setup, like, five days ago. Anyway, Poliora. It's, uh... Looks like Poliwag and Amora. So it's gonna be Water Ice, I'm guessing. Don't paralyze. Man! Make me walk back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, there it is. There's there's the paralyze. Is it like hiding behind the, the EXP meter? Is that what's going on? Wait, why? Oh, because it's, it's part Carvana. That's why. Ash's dad grew to level 5. Brock is a lot tougher than I am. I really like that thing. It was a cool looking sprite. The Polyora or whatever. Amora is cute. And no one remembers it exists. I like the uh, I like the Gen 6 fossils. I like uh, the the T-Rex too. I like the idea of the Gen 4 ones. It's a shame they kind of suck. And then the Gen 5 ones are just... Yeah, I don't like that. Screw those two. It's just... A bird with a self-sabotaging ability. And just a turtle. It's just a turtle. Sweerreap. Swine up? Yeah, it's it's Swine of Mareep. Rampardos goes hard if it can actually attack. Ganondorf in Smash moment. Uh, so it's it's gonna be. Given that this is an ice gym, I'm assuming it, it got the ice type from Swine Up, so it's gonna be ice electric. I wish I had a steel move. Great. Good, uh, good opening move from Swireep. GG's. I wonder what level Pichu evolves at. Because Jack confirmed that it does evolve on a level basis, not uh, not happiness in this. We have Digrunt. It's a Diglet and Snorunt. Water? Okay, water's super effective. This is going to be ground ice. You aren't so far away from Brock, are you? Can you go hotter than Brock? Well, I I hope so. He's an ice type trainer. Brock and Bryce, Bryce and Brock. There is a gym a, there is a gym leader named Bryce. I think that's the the Gen 2 one, the old man. What did he say? Rock hard defense. That's about why my Pokémon are the ice type. Uh, oh, we only used two Pokemon for gym battles? I see. Well, hmm. Obviously, I want Deep D. Catadude is my next strongest, but if he's an Ice Trainer, Ice is super against ground. And Catadude also doesn't really have any good moves. 
Uh, do I want Durden? Durden's a Pichu. Maybe I want Danny. Here you go. I'll take the risk with Catadude. Hopefully I don't have to use him. I like the idea that we have a uniform number of Pokemon for both of us. And it's not me with six Pokemon versus a gym leader who doesn't have six for some reason. Okay, we got Rockruff and Snorunt. Let's go ahead and open with a... Uh, you know, if, if all it's got is Tackle, I can open with a few Swords Dances. Might as well. Oh, it's got Bite, too. Okay. Didn't matter. Oh, because I'm, uh, I think I'm Dark Steel, so that's, the, yeah, that's really not going to do much. Stop. Stop flinching. You know, fine. You only get two swords dances. Catadu. Okay, finally. An attack move. Rather than roll out. Uh. Never tackle or bide. I've actually gotten a little bit of use out of bide, weirdly enough. He could really use a psychic move, though. Dabora. Dabora? The Demon King? Uh. Oh, it's Dublade. It's Dublade and Amora. So it's either Ghost Ice or Steel Ice. Let's find out. It is Steel Ice. Thankfully, uh. Steel is no longer resistant to Dark and Ghost. I think it was Gen 6 that changed. This, this game really needs, like, properly looping music. It's proof of your victory. Here's the Boulder Badge for beating the Ice-type gym. Here's Rock Tomb from the Ice Gym Leader. Premium Wonder Trade Ticket. Okay. So does that mean I can only... Again, I'm playing the offline version, so if it is actually online anything, then I can't actually connect to it, but uh, if it's just a... You just get a random Pokemon, that could be worth doing. Uh, what was I about to do? Pokemon. Uh, TMs. Are TMs... Please be, like, infinite use. Oh. Okay, no, so, okay, so the TMs are randomized. It's not going to match what the dialogue says the move is. I got uh, Aurora Veil. Reduces damage from attacks for five turns. I remember that. It's like a combined... Oh, well, thank you. I can tell what you have, yeah. Thanks. See, it's expected when you say it. When, when the gym trainers say it, they're going out of their way. And they're like, oh, that, that's cool. Thank you for saying that. How much money did I get from that gym? Maybe I'll be able to buy two Pokeballs now. Uh, okay, I got enough. Splicer that reverses the DNA of a fused Pokemon to create the inverse fusion. Okay, so it swaps which fusion the Pokemon is. If I want to swap to the... That, that's really only if I make a mistake with the fusion I want, though. At this point in the game, kind of seems like a waste of money. Uh, how many balls am I down? I'm down to three. I need to buy more. Premier ball? Yeah, premier ball. And one more splicer. Now that I've wasted all my money, what are you selling? 
Rock Gem, and Nest Ball. Can I sell TMs? I'm never going to use Aurora Veil. Oh, no, I can't buy that. Hey, buy my debugger. Oh, there's the sword button. It's, uh, it's, it's square. Imagine going to a convenience store and selling them a bottle of water. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? Do I want to know? I'm trying to plant a flower garden, but this strange bird Pokemon keeps coming back to sip on my flower's nectar. It's almost sucking them dry. Okay. Oh, there's like a quest log. Nectar Garden. Hope I don't get totally sucked dry before then. Oh, I can't walk on the flowers. That would be rude. Is there anything new or unique in the museum? Entry's free now, apparently. However, it requires cut, so we, we can't go in. Oh, no, wait. Hold on, here it is. Welcome to Pewter's Museum. I assume that we get the HMs in the same place that we did in the, uh... In the original game. Oh, do you think they have, like, uh... DNA of rock-type Pokémon remains completely preserved even after millions of years of fossilization. I'm thinking that, like, uh... Do you think they use the skeleton sprites from Gen 1? Like, the fossil sprites. Maybe if you fuse, like, an Aerodactyl with a Cubone or something? Hello, young trainer! I will teach Mud Slap to one of your Pokémon for free, if you can answer this quiz about Pokémon fossils. Alright. Which fossil turns into the Pokémon Kabuto? That is the Dome Fossil. What is the only fossil Pokémon that cannot evolve? That's Aerodactyl. Which of these Pokémon can be regenerated from the Skull Fossil? That's Cranidos. Who, who wants to learn Mud Slap? It is Ground-type. Uh, it's also not really an attack move, but, uh, I don't know, better than bite, I guess. Can I do this as much as I want, or does he only teach this once? Come back if you want another one. Okay, cool. I, I can get infinite mud slaps for free. Do I want it on anything else? Uh, Pichu could use it. Danny could also use it. Any Pokemon that can learn it would benefit at least a little bit from Mud Slap. So let me just throw it on, on a few of them. Uh, causes confusion. That could be useful. Yep. Teach me more slapping. Recycle can be good strategically, but strategy. <laughs> yeah, slap at a base. Tickle! Reducing attack and defense stats. Eh. This is a weird version of this song. Brought back the special flute for my travel. Show me the city's badge. Oh, there you go. Black flute. Oh, this is one of the, uh... This is one of the, the... Ash items. The items that you make from volcanic ash in, uh, Ruby Sapphire. Neat. Okay, not a trainer. 
It's, it's Professor Oak's assistant. She was doing field work, and I came across something incredible. You gotta see this. Seems like there's an outbreak of wild Pokemon with hidden abilities on this route. Saw one of them in this very patch of grass. You'll be able to tell at the start of a battle if Pokemon has its hidden ability. Okay. Cool. That is uh, not something that you can normally get. Even in regular Pokemon games, you gotta go through like a bunch of loops or you gotta uh, get one from an event or something to have a hidden ability. Uh, Beldum. Not only that, it's a ghost Beldum. Oh, uh oh. It's gonna hit me. No, it. I was gonna say it won't hit me because I'm ghost, but I'm not ghost. I like Beldum. Hopefully it's not invisible after I catch it. Don't faint. Oh no, rough skin! Oh! That was the wrong Pokemon to use. Alright. Durden. You get out there. I say, ooh, Smeargle's not really that useful unless you're, uh... Unless you're, like, specifically st strategizing with him. It's a Pokemon that's a lot cooler in concept than in practice. He is useful. I'm somewhat, even in competitive, just because he can learn any move. Almost. This one always looked so like, well I guess that's, no this is a custom sprite. I thought there was a game sprite that looked very similar to this, like flamboyant Smeargle. What do you mean Game Freak? Why does he have a little bow tie? Okay, this one looks adapted from one of the 3D models. And one, one is just blue. I wonder if the ones that say the Pokemon Company are like uh, promotional art, maybe? Do I want to add Smeargle? I don't think I want to. He's cool, but he's not going to be useful. No, I don't want to name it. Sorry. I don't have a name in mind. I do want to build him. I definitely want to build him. Unfortunately, it has a really low catch rate. Us too. I don't have one, do I? I encountered a Feebas earlier. I think it was a trainer, though, had a fused Feebas. It's a weird animation for lowered accuracy, because it looks like something is going up. Weird Phoebus sprite. It is a little bit. It's like he's doing something with his arms, quote unquote. Well, her arms. Fins. Uh, what else we got? Okay, there's the default, the right original Phoebus. Pokemon TCG adapted sprite. I guess, I guess we'll just yeah. It's one of the original ones. Sharpedo and Aegislash have a unique sprite. Okay, that's that's good to know. Do you know if... Uh, Jack, can you look up if... 
Pokemon evolve while they're fused. I assume they would, because it'd be a pretty big shortcoming if they don't. Now there's four of them. Where's Beldum? Give me Beldum back. Meow. It's iconic. I should catch a Meowth. Beldum. There's a, there's a little kitty meowth. There's a smug meowth. There's a claws meowth. There's a very humanoid meowth. That that one looks very much like the anime meowth. Oh, do I want... No, we don't need that one. Do I want the cute mouth or the... That one's Ugu. You like the smug one? <laughs> that one is smug and also has a berry. And this one is just... This is just silly. This is cartoony. This one is graceful. There's so many Meowth sprites. Holy shit. Where's the... Where's the smug one? If you know, you know. Yes, they can evolve all fused. Okay, good. That would be very cumbersome if they couldn't. Is Belvin just gonna be, like, insanely rare? Or... Did I just lose my chance? Was it, like, one of the hid- Was it the special hidden ability Pokémon that is now just not gonna be here until another swarm or something? Hydreigon Metagross would be so cool! He also kind of looks like he's ready to throw hands. Like, he's a smug boxer. One of a kind encounter. We're not gonna find another Beldum. I don't know how long I should keep trying. I really want one though. I wonder how much information on this game there is. If there's like uh, encounter tables or anything. Because these, uh, the randomization is set to uh, randomize by location. Or it's like, it's one for one, so whatever Pokemon were, were originally in this route's encounter table, each one will be replaced by a different Pokemon. As opposed to, uh, I don't think I've ever used the randomizer setting. Oh! Yeah. Regal. All right. I don't think I've ever used the randomizer setting where uh, just every single encounter is purely random. That was too much. I wasn't sure if it would be or not. 
we still encountered something new, so maybe Beldum is here. chance because I wasn't careful enough with its self-damage. It wasn't even its own self-damage, it was the fact that I was using a Pokemon with rough skin against it. I guess we're, I guess we're not gonna get a Beldum. Man! This would be a, this would be a bunch of bug catchers on this route, but now it could be anything. Is that an official sprite? Was uh, are, are there female bug catchers in like one of the the sprite-based Pokemon games? I don't remember them. Hone Edge Meowth. I'm guessing it's like a Meowth. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of Hone Edge fusions are just Pokemon with sword, more or less. Take that Spear Doof. Damn, uh, yeah, I will learn Bite. Uh. Okay, Poison Gas is 90% effective, but it's. It is a poison move. Accuracy. <sighs> Toxic Spikes is hard to use competitively in single player. Because the like the AI trainers don't swap their Pokemon around strategically. So I have no way of knowing what, what a person's next Pokemon is going to be anyway to set up Toxic Spikes. Uh, meditate for a Pokemon that probably will not get many physical attacks. But that's okay, because I can fuse it with a Pokemon who has physical attacks. Pikachu Honedge is a lightning blade. Well, like a lightsaber? Zubass. Beautiful. Beautiful Pokemon. I, I like how because it's a Zubat, it still doesn't have eyes. Feebas fused with this thing and went blind. Yeah, absorb my trash. I was only faster than it for the first turn for some reason. I lost my comfy feeling. That's right, that's the, uh... That's the comfy and easy-to-wear trainer. Oh. I feel like there's one more trainer on this route than was originally here. Kleechick. Oh, it's, a uh, Kling. Or Kling Clang. I think it's just Kling. Steel fire. Oh, great. Oh, that was a crit. That was a four times effective critical hit. Yes. You miss your moves. You can rebattle trainers. Yes, you can. Most trainers. Not, uh, not all trainers. It, it didn't seem like I could rebattle gym trainers. I don't know about gym leaders.
Maybe it was the time of day. Maybe I was just, like, right at the end of night when I encountered Beldum. Money shouldn't be a problem, then. No, if I want to, like, stop and grind, but... Regular trainers, especially early game trainers, are not worth a lot. I would really prefer to just have infinite fusion things, so that I could fuse literally everything. But, uh, that, that's not, that seems like that's not gonna be what we're getting. Make sure I meet this guy first. Fuse Pokemon evolved too! Oh. I guess we would have found out shortly. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Do I want Skull Pichu or Skull Dino? I'm tempted to do Skull Dino. I think that would look cool. But it's also kind... Maybe it's kind of an obscure mix, so maybe they won't have a sprite. What Pokemon would have a Day of the Dead thing? Maractus. Maractus and Duskull have better have a Day of the Dead, like, theme going on. Or, uh, the, the Ludicolo. The Party Duck. The Fiesta Duck. Alright, well, let's try it. We can reset if we don't like it. I'm probably gonna be more, uh... I'm gonna be more liberal with those resets if we get something. Okay, so Jack's theory is that green sprites are custom and gray sprites are automatically generated. Dark uh, Dark Ghost is a cool type though. If I if I get a Dark Ghost with Wonder Guard, I think it's only vulnerable to fairy type. Let's see let, let's see our Ghost Dragon. Duskull Pichu does have a sprite. I see. Well, let's see what this looks like first. It's a bone dragon. That is pretty cool. Dust Snow. I rate Requiem Pokemon. It's still Ringo. He's just he's just dead now. We <laughs> we have a dead Ringo. Uh, boost attack but lowers accuracy. I do like levitate. don't really want to sacrifice speed. I'm also going to reset, though, because I want to, uh... Let's see what the... Let's see what the Skull Pichu looks like. Then we can decide. Alright, Durden and Grim. Ghost Electric. Uh. That would get Levitate, and it would be immune to, it, it would be immune to ground type. Eh. Dust Chew. It is custom, but that's a whole lot less cool looking. Tiny Requiem Pokemon. Mm, I think I'm good. I like now nah, I like Ringo better. All of the auto-generated auto sprites are from Japil's Pokemon Fusion Generator. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of that. As in, in a way, the, the predecessor to this game. See, now... I'm doing combinations that maybe aren't my favorite of them, because just because they have custom sprites. If I had the choice, I think of why I would have liked the, the ghost dark typing better. I wonder... It is really ambitious for every combination to... Not only have one fusion, but two? Uh... Do we need Leer? Yeah, why not? Nightshade. Do we need Dragon Rage and Nightshade? Probably not. Do we need Disable? Probably not. Duskull Pichu looks like a Juggalo. But Jack, what is a Juggalo? why I'm healing. I just probably just healed. Let me get, uh, let me get Mime out again. I think there's a Mime Meowth. Or a Mime, Mime Smeargle. Smeargle. Maybe 
there's a Pichu Meowth. Hold on. Would that be worth doing? P Pikachu and Meowth definitely gotta have a fusion. Let's try it. Fuse. Use Witch Splicers. No, to the box. I want to fuse with something in the box. Damn it! Oh, there we go. Fuse. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a piece of paper? No, no, I'm sorry. Not. I don't want to do Smurgle. I want to Meowth. You know what I'll bet Pichu Smurgle is? I bet it's like, it's a little baby Pokemon with, with like a refrigerator drawing. I bet that's what the piece of paper is. Oh, it's got, this one has two custom sprites. Uh, Jack, which one do you think? Do you think the little one or the, the, the Pichu one or the Meowth one? Which one speaks to you? I, the Pichu one looks like it's going to be like a, a cute little baby cat. I think I lean towards the left one. Seen them, I can't be unbiased. Okay. Well, I'll just do the one that uh, gravitated that I gravitated to more and we'll see how it looks. That looks like a Meowth Pichu fusion. That that looks exceedingly accurate. Meowchu. It is an adorable companion and can be sold for egregious amounts of money. Well, it's no longer two Pichus, so I don't want to keep Durden. Contact with Pokemon may cause paralysis. <clears throat> Static has been really useful for catching. Pickup is tempting, but. Do I want to sacrifice attack? Because Meowth is a physical attacker. I think I'll go neutral. Alright. New party member. I guess, you know what? Actually, we can tell this way. In this menu, we can tell if... Uh, a fusion has a custom sprite or not. This one, oh, this one has two. Normal fairy or psychic normal? I kind of lean, I think I lean towards the right one on this one. I do, I don't have a fairy type though. Well, I do already have a psychic type. Maybe nor normal fairy would be a little more useful. I forget that, I forgot that Mr. Mime is a fairy type now. Jack has shown me the other Pichu Meowth, and it is, in, in my opinion, yet much, much less cute. So, I'm glad I didn't go with that one. Uh, I mean, neither sprite is amazing, so you know what? I think normal fairy is going to be more useful, just for coverage. Okay, Smear Jr. I guess that's an appropriate combination. It's no longer a mime, it's, it's a clown. Because, because you know, it's colorful, because paint. Mime Painter Pokemon. Uh, filter reduces damage from super effective attacks. I don't think it reduces them by like half, though. Hold on, what? what is the ability filter? I don't know if I've heard of that before. Pokemon filter redam reduces damage by 25%. Okay. So since super effective attacks do two times damage, they would instead do 1.5 times. I kind of like technician. Plus spe yeah, plus special attack, sure. And it, it has sketched thundershock. Fairy. Do I want 
want... Yeah, I'll replace Mudslap, I guess. Should I, though? I don't think I should. Nah. It's still Ash's dad, though. I'm not gonna fuse these two, but let me just see if they have one. Oh, okay. No, it actually shows us which Pokemon... Oh, well, n never mind. It's because these two are fusions, is why they didn't uh, appear as options. Yep, Hopip, uh, Hopip Cottony has two custom sprites. I kind of thought that they were they were comparable enough that they might have something. All right, let's go finish that route as reasonably quickly as we can. Is it still night? It is. I, I gotta check if Beldum is there too, though. What was I talking about fusing Beltum with? I wanted to fuse him with Dano. Dino. The other fusion in Pichu Mouth looks like a mascot platformer. It kinda does. It looks like it would be one of those mascots that was trying to, uh... Trying to be like a Sonic knockoff in the, in the 90s. Like Radical Rex! Awesome possum! Oh, cotton bass. I'm good. We don't need cotton bass. That was also a custom one, though. Kuna. Why did it show me that it had shed skin? If it wasn't shedding any status conditions. I feel like we just missed Belda. Maybe it was a morning encounter. I wonder if this game has those. Maybe it wasn't like the, the tail end of night. Maybe it was the tail end of morning that we saw it. I bet there's a skull spider. Spider. I bet there's a Skulltula sprite for a du Duskull and Spinarak. Maybe I'll look for Beldum off stream. Maybe I'll see if I can just, like, keep looking here longer to see if I can re reproduce the Beldum magic. Uh, Anoper. Bug rock combined with water ground. That's a lot of different types that it could be. Anorith. That's that's the poem. I was drawing a blank on the on its name, the bug fossil. Those are cool fossils for typing. Gen 3's uh, bug rock and grass rock. Uh, pursuit is weaker than bite, so I don't think I want to use it, especially since uh, AI trainers never switch out. Title. He's here for the title match. It's a uh, Tyrogan Squirtle, so it's going to be fighting water. Do I have anything for that? Well, I have Jillis. Well, no, fighting is going to be super effective against Jillis, too, though. Let's try it. Yeah, get paralyzed. How dare you attack a creature like this? It's bizarre that the paralyze is cut off up there, because they don't have an experience bar like I do. So I don't know why it's being cut off. Manto. Mankey Ditto. Uh... Still don't have any psychic moves is the problem. Ash's dad knows a psychic move. B 
But if... If it transforms, then it's going to be normal fairy instead of fighting. And it's faster than me. Okay, I went first that time. Thanks. Game had randomly had mercy, I suppose. Ringo wants to learn Astonish. Is it 10 power, 30 power. Ah, uh, I don't need Disable, really. It is Stab, so it'll technically be 45 power. As much as that is. Uh... Oh, another thing in that one, in that ROM hack I was mentioning, one of the settings for, uh, Regulation Red, is you, you can play Wonder Guard mode, where only your super effective moves will hit enemy Pokémon as, like, a challenge. Which is, uh... Awful, if you're fighting a Psychic-type in Gen 1. Because there are basically no bug or ghost, even assuming that they fixed the ghost type, because it was broken in Gen 1, it wasn't actually good against Psychic. Even assuming they fixed that, there are basically no bug or ghost damaging moves in Gen 1. Hello, Anvar. This is my trash rat. He is a Trubbish and a Ratata. Sorry, she. Catterbone! Alright, bug ground. That's gonna ground is gonna be super against my rat. Bug ground, bug ground. I oh, I keep forgetting that deep D is water. Well, it's not water. It has a water move. What is deep D? Steel dark against bug ground. I, I don't really have anything for that. Throw some water moves at it. I like how its bone is the uh, is the thing that is on top of Caterpie's head. It's, it's just a big red bone now. I wish Deep D had a better sprite. I, I wish this wasn't my. Uh, I wish this wasn't my uh, my swordfish. I'm almost out of water. Pursuit. Ah, uh, no. I'm still just barely at the tail end of the sickness that I still had when I was playing, uh, when we were doing the Battle Network stream. Oh god, how many trainers are there? In vanilla, she would be the last one. I just want to get to the Pokemon Center, that's all. Honuna. Okay, Honage Kakuna. I don't think I like that. Uh, so it's either Steel Bug or Ghost Bug. Let's find out. It is Steel Bug. That is a really good early game move for it to have. Swords Dance. Why am I leading with Danny? That was a fun battle. You want another one? No, Nimona. Can I have five minutes, please? morning yet? Uh, there's some berry trees. Oh, wow, they, they really shortened the, the road up to uh, Mount Moon. It's just right here now. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. I couldn't do anything against these thugs. I couldn't defend at all against their moves. No one's here to heal my Pokemon. Rare Magic Card for just five hundred dollars. Yeah. Wait, that's not a Magic Card. Fuck you. Give me my money back.
I was cheated. This Pokemon is a cheat. I don't give refunds. Yeah, I bet you don't. My pork my poor Pokemon needs assistance now. Okay, so I'm gathering from uh, context clues that uh, there's some Team Rocket stuff going on, and the uh, Pokemon Center nurse is Occupado. Probably have to deal with some cutscene stuff next time. Let me take one more crack at Beldum, because I think it's morning now. Bingo. Then I'll fight that last trainer. Come on, give me a Beldum. Oh, okay, new Pokemon. There is a morning set. Litwick. It's cool, but I don't know if I want to spend a Pokeball on it. I'm still really starving for money. Phantom. Appropriate. I know the two Pokemon that make it, but I don't remember their names off the top of my head. I like the little ghost tree. I, I like I like that one. It's a Gen 6 Pokemon. Gen I like Gen 6 Pokemon. It introduced a lot of cool ones. That'll be our uh, next vanilla generation to play. Whenever Jack is feeling like he can handle another Pokemon game. A lot of new things, but we're not getting Beldum. If you weren't here earlier, we randomly encountered one Beldum on this route, and have not been able to find one since. And so my theory is that maybe we caught it at the very tail end of the morning hours, and it's one of the morning encounters. Yeah, we'll get another sketch. Not meditate or uh it just raises attack by one. That's like howl. Why am I keeping that? I would like to get a chimp shark. That's a cool thing to encounter. Things I want on this route, Chimchar and Beldum, but uh I I, I don't know if we're gonna find the Beldum again. I'll give it two more encounters. Oh, that, that looked like a fancy screen. No. Uh, let's try Astonish. That'll be weak, right? That's just about perfect. Alright. How bad's the catch rate for a starter? It's not good. You know what? Uh, Jillis. Maybe you can paralyze it. Come on, come at me, bro. Yeah, scratch. Yeah! Perfectly according to Keikaku. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm gonna use all my balls on this. Dark. You can take a hit. Unless it uses Ember. I just... I don't know why space that it has that. It's a wild Pokemon. Maybe it'll be dumb and use Scratch. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Abort. Abort. Uh... Ringo? I'll send in Kad Kadadood. Getting the ball. 
it's nice in there. This is a fine 200 Pokebuck suite I'm putting you in. Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to get Beldum now if I encounter one. I'm out of balls. Well. I have one shot left. And it's in a Premier Ball, which I don't like using. Rip Chimchar. Rip Kadadud. I'm not gonna waste all those balls. I will probably try to catch Chimchar and Beldum off stream, is what I'll do. So, uh, maybe next time I come back to this, you'll see me with those. I'll fight this last trainer and then we'll stop. This dude, this bug catcher, is the final boss of the stream. What do you got? Greg has a Wii Carp. Ugh. Ugh, I know those are his legs, but that's not, it doesn't look like legs, it looks like something else. I love my Skull Dinosaur, though. This is the most goth-looking Pokémon. And there's a Pokémon that's specifically designed around a goth girl. Swipey, Swinub, and Caterpie. Dragon Rage is very useful at this point in the game. Eepany! <laughs> that's, that's, that's wonderful. Eepany. I like that name. Uh, does a Happiny Fusion have enough HP to survive Dragon Rage? I want that. I wish I could catch it. Alright. Bug Catcher Greg and his Epony have been defeated. So, this is where I'll call it for today. Again. Probably going to try to catch those two Pokemon off stream. Definitely going to get Chimchar, because I know Chimchar's here. Beldum. Uh, I hope I can find one. That's it for today. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so probably, obviously, we won't be doing anything. I, we both have stuff with family. Uh, probably won't be doing anything Friday, so next stream will be either Saturday or Sunday. Maybe Croc 2 will work that by that time. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.